In this tutorial, we're going to talk about noise reduction. You know, sometimes you have um, a picture that has noise, it has noise particles like pixels, if you will, that are very visible. Um, if it's not that bad of a result, we can work with it to enhance it in Lightroom. This image, for example, I'm going to select it. It's my seventh image, and I will open it in the develop module. And if you look closely, you know, there are many uh, noise particles, as you can see here, um, the hair, uh, the eyelids, the cat, and so forth. So we can go ahead and fix those. Now, um, to work with, uh, to reduce the noise particles, we have to work with luminance and chrominance. Now, these terms that I keep mentioning, um, I will actually provide um, a big sheet of paper that contains all these terms with their definitions so you can always refer to that and then um, learn from there but just so you know luminance is basically the noise particles that come in gray specks like film grain and chrominance or color um, are the noise particles that come in colored blotches usually magenta and red so we're going to work with these two in this um, particular image. So I'm actually, I have the detail panel um, open just for you not to get confused. Uh, it's under basic, it's right here and you just go ahead and click on that. We're not working in the basic panel anymore because the basic panel allows us to make uh, enhancement changes uh, that are related to, you know, exposure, contrast, brightness, saturation, vibrance, and so forth. If we want to work with uh, noise reduction, we have to go to the detail panel. So let's open the detail panel and we can, you know, uh, look at a closer view from this little window or just look at our uh, main window and see the, the changes that we're going to make. So in this detail panel, we have two sections, the sharpening section and the noise reduction section. For this exercise, we're only, uh, we will only be needing the noise reduction section. So what I want to do is work first of all with luminance in order to manage the noise particles that come in gray specs. So let me put that up to um, something around 87 or so. And then I want to work with um, color in order to work with the noise particles that come in colored blotches. So all the magenta and the green dots that we see here um, that look pixelated, we want to manage with this slider. So I'm going to go ahead and set color up to um, 85 or so. And after having worked with luminance and with color, that's when I want to move to detail because my whole purpose will um, be completed if I move this detail slider downwards um, so that to reduce the noise particles. Obviously, you don't want to drag it down too much because um, it will look artificial and like a porcelain doll. You see the face of the boy is now a bit like a porcelain doll. You don't want that effect. You want it to stay natural. So. This is too much dragging down. Um, somewhere around here is nice and good. So you see, I still have some noise particles, but it's much less than it used to be. So uh, just make sure to activate the noise reduction panel, first of all, by moving the luminance towards the right. Once you do that, the other options become active, and then you can work with color, and finally, drag the detail down in order to reduce the noise particles.